guys work here welcome back to the bench today we're going to be showing a little bit of love to the taco truck that's right the tac ultra is getting upgraded This time around, it's in the form of some plus four base pads from Taylor Freelance. Now, Taylor Freelance sent us these base pads, so big thumbs up to them. Follow a link in the description down below to head over to their site and find these same base pads over there. These are specifically Rock Island 140 millimeter plus four base pads, bringing these magazines up to a capacity of 21 rounds while fitting into the 140 millimeter length rating required for USPSA. Now, the TAC Ultras do come with this plastic base pad on the bottom of their magazines. They do have a little tab here on the back that we're going to have to pull down a little bit to be able to get this base pad off the end. Now you can see this little tab. It is cut out on either side to be able to give it some relief to be able to pull down. And luckily, it's really not grabbing on by that much. So if you just grab a pretty small, thin screwdriver, you should be able to get that in between the back of the tab on the base pad and your magazine and rotate down. And that should open that up enough to slide that base pad off okay there you can see that i've got that base pad slid forward now right like that however we do still have one little problem so notice on these tack ultra base pads we don't have a solid floor plate like we do on a lot of different magazines so that means the spring is actually bound down in there. So we are gonna need to be able to get in there and pull that spring back to be able to get this base pad the rest of the way off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a 90 degree pick. Now, if I slide my base pad forward far enough and I can get in there to see that spring, should be able to get my 90 degree pick in there and be able to push down enough on that spring to get it back and past the base pad. And then you just push the base pad right off the front. So that leaves our spring and our follower assembly just like that. Next up, let's go ahead and open up one of these Taylor Freelance base pads and see what comes in here. Comes with a new base pad to be able to place in underneath the spring. Then you've got the extension itself. Now these extensions are really nifty extensions. These are made of spring steel and you can see that by removing this screw slightly and loosening the other one, I can actually slide this up and out of the way, making installation super easy. So what we're gonna do to install, we're going to take our new base pad we're going to go ahead and slide that around the spring up into the magazine just like that and we're just going to press up to compress that into place now with that compressed up into the magazine I've got the front of my magazine facing this way because now i need to take my base pad and just slide it right over now as soon as i get it over to the point where it's going to hold i'm going to go ahead and let go because as i push this extension back that base pad is going to fling up because of the spring and it's going to hit the bottom here you'll be able to hear it in just a second and if it doesn't work its way up in there, you can always just grab a pick, poke it around a little bit, and get it to fall back down in there. Now, as soon as that is extended all the way up to the bottom of the base pad, we can go ahead and take our plate, swing it back around, and tighten it up. Now, as I said, these are spring steel plates, and they use that spring steel and this setup for a couple of reasons. One, it's super easy to install. Two, it's extremely low profile. You can see back here, the back of our base pad is actually flush with the back of our magazine. And three, these actually take up a little bit of shock absorption when you drop the mag and it hits the ground. So you're not so you're not putting quite as much strain on the back of the magazine. Now they do not suggest to use Loctite in the back here. And generally speaking, the torque spec is enough to get into tight without breaking it. <laughs> Super technical here, but that's generally how it goes. So now that we got one done, let's go ahead and jump to the other one. And there we go. Super quick, super easy job. Now, because these are not Loctited in, you will need to keep an eye on these and make sure they're tight every range trip or so. Now, another cool part about these Taylor Freelance magazines is this. This, see if you guys can read that, this is a Mechgar P18 magazine. That's right. This magazine is a $22 17 round magazine for the P18. Oddly enough, it fits the TAC Ultra. That's pretty cool. They are identical in cut and shape. Even the slide hold open works on these things. Not only that, but so do the Taylor Freelance magazine extensions. So you can have functional, reliable magazines with identical magazine extensions to your stock Rock Island magazine for 22 bucks for the mag body and then the cost of the extension. Now these extensions, not exactly cheap, but you're gonna be hard pressed to find mag extensions for this particular gun for anything less. And when you do, 
I'm not sure if they're going to be this quality. These Taylor Freelances are red anodized, and the thought that they put into these things is pretty impressive. From that backing plate to the chamfers around the front and how it interfaces with their magwell. If you've got a Rock Island TAC Ultra, you should definitely check out Taylor Freelance. Well, that's it for this time, guys. The installation of our Taylor Freelance base pads on our Rock Island TAC Ultra magazines. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found this video useful, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. If you like what we do here on the channel and you want to help out a little bit, go ahead and hit up our Patreon page. That's patreon.com slash work the trigger. Remember, I appreciate every one of you. And until next time, do your research, get informed, and get to work.